What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you guys how to apply base coat. Let's go. Okay, so when applying base coat, I like to go by the gauge of the pressure on my gun. Now if you don't have a gauge like this, this is a pressure gauge. This tells you how much pressure should be used when applying your base coat. Now some people can actually tell by ear how much air they want. But I generally don't like to do that because air can fluctuate depending on how many people are using the air in the shop. And this can change the way your base coat is applied and can cause issues later on so i always keep an eye on my pressure while i'm spraying because every time you disconnect and you connect your gun the pressure will change so keep that in mind you don't have a pressure gauge like this think about maybe buying one and if you don't think you need it well good luck to you i like to use it i like to be safe so now let me show you what i mean i like to keep my pressure at least for base coat at least at 20 psi that's the highest i like to put the pressure because anything higher can cause you to have stripes in your metallics and not evenly apply base coat so 20 psi is the highest that i like to use it uh, i will go lower sometimes depending on the weather so depending on how hot the weather is i might go lower and depending on how heavy the metallics are that can also cause me to put the base a little bit lower. Okay, so let, let me show you what I mean. Okay, when applying your base coat, make sure you keep a good distance from the panel that you're applying the base coat to. A good way to test this is you can use your, your hand, and this was taught to me when I first started to measure distance between the panel and the gun so that you don't have any problems with the base coat applying the base coat or striping issues like that so what you do is you can put your finger like this like let's say you're doing like I guess a rock kind of thing you do like this a rock side put your, your fingers against the panel like this and then Wherever your thumb is, is basically where you want the gun to be when you start base coat. So that's how you test it. All right, let's, let's put some, let's put some base coat. Okay, you see that? You see that? That's a nice even coat of base coat. That looks good and will apply properly. to show you guys an example of the difference that the pressure does in the base coat. So I made an example on the paper of high pressure, very low pressure, and medium, even pressure. Now the reason I made this example is because when you have high pressure, high pressure is gonna cause the base coat to throw out more material on the tops and bottoms of the panel, which is gonna cause stripes because there's gonna be less material in the middle, there's gonna be more material on the tops, on the top edges of the gun. That's what high pressure, too much high pressure will cause that to happen. Now, too, 
little pressure is gonna cause the base coat to puddle. So what that means is when the base coat puddle is gonna cause something that we call modeling or blotchiness in the base coat, especially if it's a metallic color, because the metallics aren't evenly spreading out through the panel. That's what very low pressure does. What you want is a medium pressure that will give you an even coat across your panel. So that way when you're covering it, it covers even, everything evenly and you don't have stripes or blotchiness or mildly of things of that sort. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I apply the base coat to this hood I have right here. I already applied one coat of base coat to this hood. I'm gonna get started on that. I'm gonna turn the boof on and I'm gonna show you what I mean with medium to wet coats. That's what you want on your base coat, okay? So let's get to it. And that's exactly why I was showing you guys on my gun that I use that pressure gauge because that pressure gauge will indicate the amount of pressure I am using and that I want to apply the coat in the fashion that I want it. That will give me the pressure that I want to get the medium wet coat that I want. All right, so let's get to work. I'm gonna show you what I mean by medium wet coats on that hood. Now the way I apply base coat on a hood, I usually like to start from one end to the other. I don't like to start in the middle because that can cause a little bit of unevenness in the base coat too. So I start from one end and I go across to the other side. Now, a general rule of thumb is to apply within three to four coats of base coat on each pan. Now, depending on the color, that will decide on which amount of base coat you need to put to finish covering your coat. Now, I'm basically done with this job. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a like. If there's anything you need help with, let me know in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next one. All right, back to work when my boss catches me make a video when I'm on the job. Shh. Don't tell anyone. But hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys. Bye.